Welcome to another battle commentary. Today's game was part of the clan war between Unity and the 49th Legion and it took place in May 2018. Of course all clans are normally some sort of rivals but uh, the com competition between Unity and the 49th was quite active for about two years and led to many exciting games and the players were able to learn a lot from each other. At the time this uh, game was played, Landon was a member of Unity Clan. One week later he joined the 409th Legion and we played a rematch at on the same map but he played for their team now. I will cast that one in the future uh, too I think. But first I will comment this one. So we are on defender side, this is the unity team. This is Landon on position 1 against Dion. This is Athos on position 2 against Dax. And this is uh, this is me on position 3 against Willibill. Um You can see that there is some sandstorm going on. And they have two times Ottoman on Syria, so they have some kind of advantage because of the heat resistance of the Ottomans. Dion played as uh, Great Britain against London with Prussia, and Artus and me played with France. We weren't sure what their tactic will be, if they play for their positions or if they try to double team someone. Uh, so especially uh, here on this ridge we had to be cautious uh, because uh, you're likely to get uh, overrun by Ottomans because of their uh, heat resistance as I said. So if there are a lot of troops concentrating in this area which often occurs then um, we decided to uh, play this, uh, a defensive in the center and attack on the flanks so at this point we saw that Great Britain has a lot of troops here in the middle and they are heading for the hill while uh, Dion does not have many troops on the flank while Landon has a lot of troops on the flank and not much in the middle especially all his cavalry so this meant that um, the scenario which I just explained um, happened and Athos uh, was uh, just walking t to the center because he will be defensive anyways and Landon took this ridge over here while I um, split my army in two. I had some troops here with one old guard and the main core of the army like two-thirds uh, over here to take this ridge. Uh, Philippil has a lot of troops in the middle as well and I had more on the flank that's why he holds uh, back his uh, left flank so far and did not compete uh, for this ridge and I can send my troops there and uh, um, deploy my lights on the hill and also take this ridge probably uh, take the forest probably but he doesn't want to give it to me now without a fight and sends his troops also one sword unit is here So you can see our defensive line in the middle. <coughs> so I sent one Swiss foot in here. There's not much space uh, because of this ridge. And he retreated his light infantry and opened fire with his light infantry on the flank, but he does not kill that much because I'm in the forest and I send up my voltages over here. Otis also has the 6th Regiment d'Infanterie uh, Leger, same as me on this flank. Where is it? Here it is. 
two more of my lights are over here watching the light infantry here but I will probably engage this one soon Landon uh, took his position Dion is uh, defensive here holding the uh, this area of this forest and uh, Landon has a very good position to attack now but first he needs to get a foothold in this forest as well where uh, Dion has a lot of troops as uh, two here, with especially lights in the front row. At the moment, there is no action over here, and um, I managed to push him back. I sent my Voltigeurs into the forest. He, I'm, I'm not afraid of getting shot of the um, Nisa Michelit light infantry because they are far away. He sees that too, and uh, because I'm in a forest especially. He sees that and doesn't want to play against the forest anymore, so he retreated his uh, his left wing and tried to deploy in the center. I also deploy in the center with my lights, but I need to, uh, I, need, I want to, to um, rest my troops first and then start the light fight. I placed some stakes on the ridge and send up my elite, uh, well not elite, but very good 6th re uh, Regiment of Fontrilger up here to uh, guard this uh, Ottoman force. They have some light infantry over here. They will get some some shots on the Polish Legion probably. I try to try to give an attack order and uh, shoot their flank, but Philip saw it and um, protected the light infantry. That's ducks, and that's Philip. So Landon spent some time to rest his troops. His uh, left flank here is still tired or winded because they ran uh, the longest way but he will soon be ready to engage and this is very nice as I said for him that uh, this whole flank area is open and there is not much to guard this uh, flank so far so um, he can he has an opportunity to overflank the British forces and also he has cavalry and other sent cavalry here as well to support a an attack on this forest so we stand quite good chances to uh, push the British back from from the forests and probably cut the commun communication between Ottomans and British when the British are pushed back here. So I took the positions I wanted. Um, it is uh, difficult to en uh, to further engage here because uh, the Ottomans, as I said, have a huge resistance and if I uh, try to follow him and he kites, then my troops get tired quickly and his troops um, don't, so that's not a good option for me to, to follow him and lose a lot of troops, since I also don't know how this uh, engagement on the, uh, on the left will Oh. Sorry, um, how it will go. It starts now. The landwehr tries to take the first volleys, and the fusiliers are coming. The British forces retreat, so they give the foothold without many many volleys being exchanged I engaged the uh, Ottoman light foot with 
with my two light over here. He concentrated his fire with both of them and made a spaghetti line with the light infantry. This means that they are pretty thin and not many hits um, will occur so that's not good for me because I have the better light infantry. Um, and as I said he concentrates with both of them on my uh, 6th Regiment d'Enfantry Légère. That's a good choice because the voltages are not that uh, not that big of a threat and also they are in the forest. But that's nothing much compared to this side. Uh, they try to uh, counter-attack here and uh, push the Prussians back again. There's uh, a brilliant move by Atas uh, to send his Chasseur Cheval on this, uh, on this way because there is no um, line on this hill to prevent them from doing so. But there are Bashi Bezhuk over here and here. The British forces are in square. The lights are in the forest. They didn't shoot so far, I think. And the foot guards are behind. Oh, th okay, they reload now. Or they try to reload, but they have to retreat again because they are scared of the enemy cavalry. This mounted Nisa Michidit. I just um, try to engage their flank so they uh, don't have that much uh, concentration of forces uh, against Landon. The British Dragoons fought against the lances and now they engage the militia but they are already tired because they are heavy cavalry and Landon managed to take his foothold in the forest the 18th regiment is also around firing at the uh, foot infantry which is in a very bad position but there are brushes to attack the 18th regiment but Atos sent uh, one chasseur cheval here the uh, backup uh, troops are uh, behind the ridge so they cannot support the bushies but Atos decided to go on the hill I'd have gone for the bushies in their, in their back but he wanted to push back the British so they can't fire on his troops down here. The Ottoman cavalry pushes back the lights of Prussia and over here the fencibles are under heavy fire by the fusiliers and Lenin does what I described earlier. He try, uh, goes up here and um, tries to overflank the British which is a very good thing if it works but so far there is still the opportunity for Britain to send forces into this forest and uh, prevent London from doing so they retreated uh, their forces here the Bashis are out of the game and London took the whole forest Atos attacks the British forces on the ridge here and we still have just uh, some light engagements available and me I gave an attack order above the, the heads of the light infantry which are behind the ridge uh, but unfortunately he walked out of range so this did not did not happen this volley he counterattacked his uh, his bushies in a fake charge to push back my Polish legion. I tried to do something here. That's why uh, I'm engaging here. Uh, but it's uh, it's a bit <laughs> hard against the swords behind the ridge. There is uh, there are a lot of troops around, 
uh, it's not a good point to attack. He also flanks uh, my Chasseur Cheval here. So, it's uh, unlucky. So, Dion has some foot guards in here. They were hidden. And he does what I said earlier. He sends troops over here to strengthen his uh, flank. So far, Landon has the upper hand, but uh, in in numbers, but the foot guards and Connaught ranges definitely are much better than the than the musketeers. And there is only another musketeer here, and another here, and no guard for Prussia. Landon sends uh, his two guards to his flank now, but it's a bit too late. Uh, Britain comes up with uh, the Dragoons, both at the same time. That's not that good for a tactical cavalry, but um, they will definitely destroy the Tovachis in a longer melee combat. London has to form the square, and the foot guards and the musketeers are uh, in a fight over here. That fight also favors Great Britain. Then tries to retreat his Tovachis, but um, his musketeers are in a pretty bad position now. With this counterattack, Dion managed to uh, outplay Landon for some uh, some time period at least, uh, because he has much better troops here. And the f foot guards are still not uh, not in the battle. He retreats the musketeers now and probably will uh, replace them with his foot guards. But he needs his foot guards in this forest to compete with the Connaught Rangers and uh, with the guards on the flank. His cavalry tries to stop the British forces uh, from firing, but so far they are not supported by the uh, by the musketeers. They are. De redeploying now, but all this time the the calf died, but the squares were not being shot. Now Landon comes up with his counter attack by his infantry, and Atos also has uh, two chasseur cheval here to support Landon in his uh, future attacks. British Dragoons managed to uh, get into the ranks of the Musketeers, but uh, Landon formed the squares, so they will die soon. They are very, very tired already. As I said, they are heavy cavalry, so that's uh, that's uh, they are likely to get tired fast. But um, they fu uh, they fought the lances already for quite some time. The foot guards did a very good fire. Did fire a very good uh, volley on the musketeers. Others sends his two chasseur cheval in to make the British form square again. And also the Ottomans are coming. So this is the engagement of the year. There is a Ottoman counter attack in the middle while Atos was uh, micromanaging his uh, cavalry on the other side. So this was quite a smart move by uh, Dux. He, uh, he went down here and took the, uh, the forest in this area and fires on the Brave Regiment. So Atos got pushed back a bit more, and there is a big counter-attack by the Ottomans to take back this uh, ridge. The Bashis are, are um, 
destroyed by my chasseur Chavot, but I lost the ridge. I was uh, not in a good position here, and obviously I was not prepared uh, to pull back this attack. So he got a good position on the hill. My voltages were destroyed by the uh, Kemachenis Ares, and he retreats them now to not get uh, uh, killed by the Chasseur Cheval. Also, there is an old guard over here. I counterattacked with my cavalry and got a good charge on the light infantry, which were uh, uh, which broke, but they will come back with 31. The second old guard is here in the forest, and he doesn't want to compete with the old guard in the forest, so he retreats his left wing again, but stays here. And also he has a small kind of garrison on this small hill with light infantry and heavy cavalry also. Another cavalry attack here. I tried to counterattack. I saw that there are not, not that many troops anymore around here, and I thought it's a good time to uh, gain some ground and some advantage because uh, so far it's more or less even. But he exchanges his uh, infantry units, so I have to. Um, give another attack order, this will lead to another reloading sequence. The Silater Guard engaged the Chevaulegere. They lost a lot of tr a lot of men because they uh, the Chevaulegere got a good charge downhill. And I went through on this uh, on the infantry but he formed a square he went through as well on my infantry and I formed a square. And the Kimachin series are in the game again. Against the Swiss foot that's very bad for me because the Swiss foot can't really do much against the swords. Bad my career by me, I shot some of my 18th regiment by my Chasseur Cheval. And his cavalry is engaging. I lost the square, but went uh, back and uh, lured him through the stakes. But he managed to push me back over here with his swords. In the middle there is still some light infantry engagement going on and over here you can see that uh, with the help of uh, Ottoman cavalry Dion managed to push back Landon's forces from this uh, from this forest so really n well coordinated by them and Atos has another cavalry of his uh, over here on the left to support Landon this time his lances. And the Fusiliers are fighting the small King's German Lightfoot over here. So I'm still under heavy attack. Also, my even my right side is uh, getting charged by heavy cavalry and mounted uh, cavalry. The swords are still around, but then finally I will. Ah, oh, Artus actually helps me. I think no, that's my cavalry. Um, yeah. So as I said, I'm under heavy attack by the Ottoman forces. My units are not in a good shape anymore. Only the second old guard is still around with almost full strength. 
that's my last cavalry while um, Dax sends a huge cavalry force now of Sipai cavalry, Silater Guard, another Sipai cavalry and uh, Vilipil still has some uh, one mounted rifles so uh, well there are still 21 over here so this is uh, very bad now for me because they will definitely uh, destroy my units since I don't have back lines anymore and no cavalry reserves. Dux fights the Voltigeurs or no the 6th regiment. The 6th regiment can snipe some line infantry guys over here. That's not much. With the help of uh, Chival the Chevalier lenses, Landon finally push t uh, took back the forest, and now he actually pushed Dion out of the forest. And the British are in retreat into the open, but they will hold their position position for quite some more time but you can see that wh there are a lot of Prussians and not many British uh, uh, units anymore over here and those which are around are quite small while the Prussians are still around in high numbers <coughs> but I have a problem uh, I'm getting double teamed by their cavalry. My I tried to save my old guard, they uh, which is in retreat, but they um, have prob I have problems to save them. My sixth regiment is also here, but uh, has only 32, and they shot most of their ammunition already. The chasseur cheval try to counter uh, charge the Sipai cavalry. And you can see that uh, their heavy cavalry is deep in our ranks, but um, the general is back here, so not very close, and the line infantry does not uh, support the cavalry as they could. So um, I managed to... Atos helps me with some chasseur cheval here and I managed to get a position in this forest with my Polish legion and Atos sends his two old guards to save me <laughs> hopefully and they don't have much troops in this area anymore but so far it is very close they still have uh, a good position here in the middle. Dax still has a lot of troops in uh, in this area. Landon has much more troops than the British, but if they can gain a strong advantage on this side and destroy my units and maybe some of Atos as well, then they can maybe change the, uh, the the game again Dion turned his cold stream guards here to fire the musketeers and they are out of the forest and I am in the forest and have the better troops and they don't they they lost their cavalry there is no the the all the heavy cavalry and mounted rifles are gone and they're only the smaller uh, smaller Ottoman troops here of line infantry are still around the the only one uh, who is who has n high numbers is this this one I countercharged my uh, old guard in melee mm. 
and they also attacked here with their two lines and I, <laughs> I get destroyed with my Swiss foot and open fire with my voltages which I obviously completely forgot and Dax also attacks here in the center Atos has both of his um, his old guards on my side now where is it? there it is ah he ran back to uh, counter attack the the ottoman push my polish legion is still in the forest and Dax managed to uh, get a lot of troops here in into squares with his cavalry and inflicted a lot of casualties but Landon still is chasing Dion and over here he engaged the Ottoman flank and the small British troops over here with superior numbers The old guard has a very good position here in the forest, so they go back again, but they are still under fire by my 60 voltages. And they are still not in the forest with, th uh, with this uh, line infantry. The, old, uh, the others were not in the forest as well, as I said, and they that's why they took so many casualties in this shootout while they could not inflict many on my Polish troops and now I'm in melee I still have good chances with the Polish against the Ottoman standard line infantry and Atos old guard um, comes here to guard the flank now available charges his troops in melee against my Swiss and Voltigeurs, that's a good choice because my troops are not good in melee but they, uh, ducks managed to save the, uh, to, to take this small forest but they did not stop Landon over here and gave up their position on the hill they did not they could have fought back from this position if they did have troops here but uh, since they attacked over here as well and concentrated many of their cavalry units etc on this side uh, against me that's uh, they they didn't have the numbers to um, fight back the Prussians and the last remaining units of Dion here finally get destroyed but he still managed to inflict many many losses on on the Prussians by kiting and holding their ground again and again for a short time and then go back and the Prussians had to go into the first volleys again but you can see that we are in control of this ridge now and also Philippe's forces over here got destroyed and they again p 
pushed against the forest, but had heavy casualties against the old guard in the forest and my voltages, so they went back again, and we have, uh, even Atis and me have higher numbers over here now to uh, surround them and destroy their units. Some 47 foot infantry came back here, and the old guard is in danger of getting flanked now. Ah, they don't have ammunition, that's unlucky. Dion is still on the run with his last foot infantry. He tries to buy time, but at this point there is no way of winning this game anymore. Oh, now they have ammunition. So this is this was the game. It was quite exciting. Dion um, did a very good counterattack uh, for this forest. In my eyes, uh, they should have fought more for these two forests. They went out, went out quite early from this position, since they were in control of this ridge, it would have been easy to uh, feed this forest with troops, but, well, sometimes it's uh, opinions differ, and um, Dion decided to go back into the open and buy time for his teammates to uh, to gain some advantage on the other side or in the middle. They were well coordinated and supported their team allies, especially with uh, with cavalry. Uh, Philippe and Dux made successful pushes, but they did not do enough damage to Atos and me for succeeding with their team tactic. So, good game uh, to the four ninth players. And we will see how the rematch went when Landon played on the same position for the 4-9th. So, see you. Bye.